Hello and welcome to another episode of Lemur's Corner. I am Lemur and today we are going to be talking about New World. Specifically, we are going to be doing uh, kind of a supply crate run. Uh, it's one of my favorite runs to do because if you need uh, sand flux or cross weave or sandpaper or you need uh, things for cooking like melons and onions and all that kind of stuff, this is the run for you. On top of it, you are going to pick up some extra crates out there. Uh, there's actually a couple types of crates that you can go ahead uh, and grab. There are supply crates and ancient crates on there and what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you this run on a separate map and why i make the run on it um, but first because we're going on this run uh, and we are probably going to end up in the general area of coming back here at some point uh, i like to make sure that i grab uh, just a couple things um on here, none of these are going to be ones that we're running by, uh, but I grabbed the wolves and the lynx just in case we happen to kill them on our way going through this run. If so, then we can grab those free points for experience and all that kind of fun stuff that we're going to be doing. But with that being said, let's go ahead and show you where our run is that we're going to do this. So we're going to end up here in Cutlass Keys, uh, and then we're going to make our way all the way over here to the Anchorage for this run. Uh, if you are below level, I would say 25, I would probably stay over in this area. If you are under level 20, I wouldn't even do most of this run. Um, but basically, there's the first light version, which is basically you come to the lookout, you come down um, uh, in, you come over here, grab the anchorage stuff, you come back up, you go down by the hilltop encampment, and then into Light's Crown and grab all of those. I like to come this way because I grab all the stuff in the Ancients Pass. I grab all the stuff over here down in the southern part of Ancients Pass. I grab Light's Crown. There's tons of resources along the way. I then grab the hilltop encampment. Uh, I hit up Anchorage. Then I will end up in Campbell's Rest. Uh, and then I can make my way north if I wanted to to Windsward uh, to drop everything off or whatever you want to do. But then you can even hit up a bear cave or two it's just it's a great run for these resources so let's go ahead and pull up the map uh, that we have over on the other side of things for new world uh, and here's the map uh, that we're going to pull up so as you can see this is over on new world fans it's a great map on here uh, it helps out a lot on a lot of things i do uh, whether it's grabbing iron or something like that but basically we're over here in cutlass keys right now for the chests i have selected are just supplies and provisions uh, there are more chests that you're going to have access to, like ancient uh, chests. You can see there's a bunch of those, uh, but those aren't your goal to grab those. Alchemy chests are another one. Uh, I think you get like three on the run or something like that. It's nothing too crazy, uh, but it, mostly it's for the provisions and the supply crates. So, so you start in Cutlass Keys and you come down this road, and we're going to hit up this provisions crate, this provision stockpile. You know, We're going to go through these provision crates, and I'm going to attempt to show you almost every single one of them. Um, however, I want to note that when you're in this little section right here it is absolutely confusing and so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna take you through the whole thing show you where some of them are hiding um and and on that run and everything so uh and there's certain methods that i take that uh change up this run just a little bit but yeah so you go up north you hit up the supply crates up here uh you could come jump down here if you really wanted to so there, there are a couple options of how to do this run um i'm going to make this an extensive run so as i said we can go up here we can come up here we hit up this area down here we we go up here, then we hit up all this stuff, right? So we can do that option. The other option you have, um, which is the one I will show you, is I'm going to come down here, come through here, go here, jump down, grab all these supply crates, right? Then grab all these supply crates because there's also vegetables in this garden, which is what we're trying to focus on is cooking. So if, you, if you're if you worried about cooking and supply crates, this is a great spot to hit it up because you'll get uh, corn and, and all kinds of stuff like that down here and broccoli and things like that and there's a bunch of broccoli up here then you come back up the mountain you'll hit up some iron nodes on the way if you didn't know there's a bunch of iron nodes uh, that you can have access to um, which you can turn that on for this run also uh, to take a look at it and then we're going to go up here uh, and then as i said we're going to jump across here we're going to grab this stuff go up here and then make our way back to the north as i said we'll hit this little provisions crate area right here uh, and then i pretty much cut straight across go into windsward and i can either unload it or take it to everfall where my house is going to be uh, it's completely up to you and what option you want but let's go ahead and get to the run as i said i'm gonna start it right about here on the front of the line i keep this up on a second monitor uh, if you have uh, access to a second monitor that's awesome if not you can actually do it on your phone also it's not terrible but it will work on the way um, there are 
couple iron nodes we'll grab on the way but basically this takes about a half hour to make this run uh, so while making the run make sure you guys subscribe hit that bell for the notifications uh, please give this video a thumbs up to help it um, and then I'm also going to link right now as I'm running so this is currently me running uh, but you're going to see a screen pop up and it's going to tell you what I ended up with at the end of the run this is the full run this is the cost of it it's also going to give you the time frame of the run uh, I am starting it right now at about five minutes into the video uh, recording roughly uh, is what the time for the run is going to be and that's going to have me fast forwarding through certain sections where you guys don't need to watch any mining ore and stuff uh, and all that fun stuff so let's just go ahead uh, I'm going to go ahead and pop all the stuff that I'm going to pop and I'm going to make my way to the front end of the run I might stop and grab a little bit of iron on the way because um, there's a couple iron nodes you can see one of them is up right now on the map uh, but I'll grab that stuff I will fast forward through this little run part if it's there uh, but it takes about 30 minutes up to 45 minutes depending on how much uh, stuff you get and how frequent the access is so we'll see you at the beginning of the run after a little fast forward a little bit of tunes uh, and we'll see you catch up on that one All right, so here we are at the start of the run. I meant to show you my inventory is pretty much empty. Uh, I've already got 152 iron uh, and four nuts on the way. Uh, but basically what we're going to do is we're going to come in here, grab these two provisions crates and kind of hoof it to the next provisions crate. Um, the second one is down here. Uh, the third one, I mean, uh, but we're going to grab those two, grab this one, uh, and then we'll come over here, grab that one, grab the iron node. Um, there's also some other nodes, and there's other things out there. So we're going to go really uh, take a time on this and get through here. You, sometimes you got to clear this stuff out. This is where some of the hardest stuff is going to be to kill. Uh, it just takes a little bit longer, that's all. We'll kill it and move on. Um, I don't plan on keeping any of the gear. I will just scrap almost all of it. Um, and so we're just going to quickly make our way running down the middle here. Uh, the first crate is going to be up here on our right. Uh, on our, look at on the left actually technically so it's right up here uh, there's a guy uh, normally uh, but it looks like someone might be ahead of us uh, so we'll grab that provisions crate we get some milk and some cheese bait uh, and then we're going to jump across here uh, just because this is over here also which is one of those ancient urns you get a chance at some supplies so we got actually got some good supplies out of that one pretty nice uh, that we got that we're going to kill this guy really quick uh, you can see someone else is definitely clearing some stuff here and we're going to clear this guy out, jump over this wall. And there's our provision stockpile. So I think this person is definitely doing a stockpile run too. Um, as you can see, they're 52. So this is not surprising to see other people on this run. Uh, and that's what's nice about the run though, is in general, a lot of the stuff you're going to end up getting is pretty much going to be, you know, stuff that you can grab, whether there's someone doing the run or not, because it's all in the crates. So we're really doing just kind of crate runs is really the way to think about it. Uh, I am running up here because there is a small iron notes right here. You can see them. Uh, they're already been picked. Uh, and then we're going to jump back down and go south because we have to get to the opposite side. So I just like to check all the notes because if you get the chance to grab stuff, you can grab it. But right here where these two soul sprouts are, are where they are at there's two ways to get there either you can drive yourself right through the middle depending on what gear you have i like to do that because you can get some of these other crates that are up here uh, that you need to manage and grab and uh, go ahead and do that you need to do so go ahead and take this guy out really quick uh, grab this other provisions or the provisions crate uh, we'll jump over the wall as you can see we're right by the soul sprouts this defender is going to jump on us. Uh, I'm going to grab those soul sprouts because there's no reason not to. Uh, just as a note, if we do hit a mine and I end up mining it, I am going to fast forward really quick through that uh, because watching me mine three nodes is probably something you've all done many times. So you don't need to watch me do it. and It'll save you, you know, 30 seconds or so on this run. But we're through the first section here. Now we need to cross over to this top section. And there's also an iron node and other nodes there. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm literally going to shoot straight across here. Uh, try to avoid a lot of the stuff so the more stuff you kill it depends on if you, i mean if you want to kill it go ahead have fun but i'm trying to go for efficiency on the run um so right here on this back side you catch this ancient urn every time uh just to kind of show you run up here you run across here you grab the ancient urn you're gonna have a guy over here you can jump over this wall uh, and make it up here now if you're looking for uh, a bunch of nuts or anything this is actually a great spot to find some nuts right in here you can see them on my monitor um, on my screen and you can grab all of that information and everything um, and grab what you need 
So you can grab all that stuff here. I'm not going to go too crazy on the nuts right now because we don't need that. I uh, did walk over this one, so I'll go ahead and grab it. Uh, but then we need to go a little bit further north because uh, it's up on this hill right here. So if you come across here, as I said, this is where you can just keep grabbing nuts through here. You're going to jump up, take a left. There's going to be an archer standing right in front of it. I shouldn't have rolled. I should have just kept going. And then you get your provision stockpile here. Um, this is where we talked about where there's a chance for iron nodes over here. Um, you can see them actually on my monitor. There they are. Uh, so we'll go ahead and grab those. All right, so we've got those iron nodes down. Now, if you come over here, there's actually a couple things. There's a couple silver nodes and there is a soul uh, rock. I forget the name of it actually off the top of my head, but soul spire, that's right. Um, and some silver nodes so we can grab those before we jump down to the next provisions crate. Uh, and that literally is going to be actually back this way a little bit. Um, oh no, we grabbed that one. I apologize. It's over here. Uh, it's going to be right on that ping right there. It's the next provisions crate, but we want to grab all the silver too, because as I said, this is about all professions. I am going to be starting to show, you know, some tutorials on how to get through that hundred marks. I feel like that last little bit is always rough, but this is one of those those great runs where you end up a little bit of everything uh if you did these once every couple days you should have pretty good access to resources uh and you should be pretty well covered when it comes to that stuff but um i'm getting lucky with a lot of the stuff um and my level's high enough here that I'm actually going to be able to sneak this crate without i even messing up with this archer um so you can just sneak in behind it grab this crate uh, and then make your way to the next crate, which is actually right on the opposite side of this. It's about right there. Um, so we're going to try to dodge some of these mobs uh, because this is, we're trying to focus on efficiency. We're going to go over this wall right here. Um, there is a mob that we are going to have to fight. We don't have a choice, really. Um, right when we hook the right over here, we always end up with a, a mob right there. There's a defender. You can see there's an Avenger right to my right. Also, so we're going to roll. Turn around and hit this guy while he's swinging like an idiot. And he sits down, and we'll grab that green. And uh, I plan on tearing up because, it's, oh, actually, it's a strong regeneration potion. Cool. Uh, and then we can just jump across here. Now, as you come across here, there is another crate right here. You will have to fight something extra. They are not attached, so you only can kill the one. And if you're high enough level, you can just walk up and grab this ancient urn and get a couple more resources. As I said, the goal is not to get these ancient ones. It's really to push the provisions. Um, but we're going to come down south here. We're going to go to here because there's an iron node. Um, and then we're going to kind of come across here because there's an iron node here iron node here. Then there's a bunch of resources back here behind a provisions crate that if you go in there, grab that stuff, right? Um, and we'll show you that. Uh, and then go back into the section where it's a little bit confusing that we've talked about. Uh, and then you can come back out and get the same resources again. It's really kind of fun. Um, actually, I need to upgrade my booster, but we're gonna go grab this iron. Um, I'll kind of fast forward through this little section because it's a little bit of a longer run of just collecting random stuff. So we'll just kind of go on a little bit of faster pace here. Uh, and I'll see you when we get to the next kind of provisions crate kind of area. All right, so as I'm finishing up this last node, this is where I want to talk about what we're going to do. This is the really confusing place with a lot of the the, the chests in there. Um, I miss some sometimes. It's just because it's just super confusing in there. Uh, but I'm basically going to come up here and grab like a shock bulb and some other stuff, jump in here and grab a provisions crate, jump down and go in through the front door. You have to go in through the front door to get a lot of them. Um, and the end of the run, uh, you grab another crate at the end. But yeah, as I said, we're going to go up here. Oh, a little late on that. So he's going to get that shock bulb. That's fine. Uh, but we know it's going to respawn afterwards. I'm not going to take it from him. Uh, you can grab some turquoise uh, or tangle wisp. I apologize. Uh, over here if you wanted to grab it. Take out this in four. So these are level 20. This is where I kind of said if you want to do the first light, that's fine. It's level, level 20. You can see the provisions crate right in front of us. But back here, there's normally a couple items that you can grab back here. As I said, that shock bulb is back there. Um, you can grab, uh, not the brush, uh, but there should be some nuts. There's some more. Uh, this can be a life bloom right here. And that stuff respawns. So now we know, boom, it's not going to be here this run. But we can jump back up here. Um, go ahead and take out these two guys that are lying on the ground. Um, and then there is an ancient urn on the back side after we take this guy out. So we'll grab that, or ancient coffer, not ancient urn. Grab our solvent, 
And then we're gonna go ahead and grab our provisions crate and then we're gonna go right into this north side. Now over here is where I was talking about where, where we're gonna kind of end and there's a crate on the bottom level. Uh, if you find someone else doing this, you can have a lot of fun uh, getting through this. I didn't even realize it. So a lot of this stuff though, at my level, I can actually run past um, and I will uh, because there's no reason for me to, to kind of slow down and kill all this stuff. Um, but you can see the silver over there. So we're actually gonna go grab that really quick. I didn't even see that that silver was up. I thought I had checked it. So we're gonna grab that silver really quick um, and get that information. Then we're gonna go back in right where we were. So I'll see you in a All right, so we're back where we were. That's where that silver note was. Um, just so you know, one of them does sit in the wall and it's very hard to get. So sometimes you can get lucky and get it. But uh, for this case, we're not going to. So with all that being said, basically what we're gonna do now is we're basically gonna run this thing, unfortunately. Um, is pretty much what you have to do. But if you're high enough level, as I said, you can kind of sneak by some of it. If not, you can just kill it really quick. Not a big deal. Because uh, if you did the cutlass side, then you did the cutlass side. Great. Um, there's nothing down here. You can see there's nothing here. We're gonna go from this side, just because it, it's it is not a perfect circle like you would think it would be. Um, it should be, but it's not. So we're gonna actually tuck in through the left here, and there's a guy over here on our left too. We gotta be careful of. And then there's the provisions crate for one of them. And then we can run around this side, jump up here. We're gonna have to fight this guy no matter what we do. So just tear through him really quick and roll through. Um, you can come up here. There's nothing up here uh, for you actually to grab. There is no crates, as you can see. Uh, so that's why I go around that underside to grab that supply crate. We're gonna come around the back side here. So now that we're here, you can see this is normally a dead end, but you actually need to go up top here. Um, even though there's nothing up here, you need to get up to the second level in order to access the next part. So this kind of snakes around here, right? Because um, that's the hill we came in on over here, and there is no second way up here. Uh, there really isn't. You can try to jump up the rocks, um, but it doesn't work nearly as well. Now, you're given two options here. Either you can go inside here or come over here. I do like to come over here for this crate over here, even though there's two guys here, uh, but we'll go ahead and take them out really quick. As I said, we're high enough level. It's not really a big deal. If I could actually hit them with my skills, that would actually be you know, beneficial to me too. Uh, but we'll go ahead and grab this. We'll get this ancient one, and then we're gonna head into the middle uh, to grab the next couple crates that are in here. As I said, we're kind of navigating through. This is really the only way in. You can actually skip this. I only like it because there is a bunch of crates in here. We're gonna just go right down the gut on this one uh, because there's a provisions crate right in the middle here on our right side. You can kind of see it. Um, it looks like there's someone else doing some stuff in here and he's looking for provisions crates too, it looks like. So this guy's gonna throw stuff. I'm not even worried about the damage I'm taking. I'm just gonna run over here, grab this supply stockpile. It's not a provisions crate. I always forget the provisions crate uh, is elsewhere. Um, I will show you quickly around the room, uh, but there really isn't anything else in the rooms. You can go underneath here and you can see there's a guy. We'll roll over to the other side and you can see that there is another guy. So really there's nothing in here, even up top, there's nothing really. So we're gonna go ahead uh, and make our way back here. Once again, there is nothing here. There's a boss here, but that's about it. If you've done this quest, you know that, uh, but that's really it. So then we're gonna go over here to the left. So we came in that way, came across here, killed that guy, come over here. Uh, I'm showing you more because I want you to know, you know, when you're turning around, maybe if you have an opportunity to do that. So we're gonna kill this one guy right in front of us. There's a crate in the backside if you see it. We'll grab that and grab that provisions crate uh, and then you're given a couple options here so one is is we still have actually another piece to grab um, down here so we'll just kind of jump off the edge here grab that and that's our nice provision stockpile oh, looks like we're gonna have some friends here but we got it so i could actually be have some fun or i could just do this and we'll just take them out really quick this shouldn't take too long kill these guys da 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 and they're dead. Uh, and then you can come through here um, and you can see that like pretty much that's the dead end of this. You grab it. I ended up getting these guys, unfortunately. Um, and then you can come over here. Now, this is where another crate is that a lot of people skip. Um, it's a supply crate. That's up here, but you want to grab that stuff because it's super important. Uh, we're about a ballpark, about 20 minutes into the run, roughly. It's not too terrible. Uh, and we're gonna go ahead and make our way back towards the front. So that was a crate we did. We jumped off this edge. We talked about how you had two options up here to go one way or the other. I'm gonna jump over the top here. And oh, 
I hope I don't miss that. Good. Um, that is a way up too, by the way. Uh, but what you're going to see here is it's a dead end. We can't go anywhere. Uh, and that's why you want to come down this way. Um, anyhow, and this is where that last supply crate is. So we're going to hit this guy on our way down. And we'll take this other guy out too. Do a little dodge roll. Back with a big heavy hack and take him out. And that's our supply crate. So that's the whole run. As I said, it's a little bit confusing. I tried to show you the whole thing, um, but this is where that benefit we talked about briefly about where you could come through. There are nuts on the ground if you really want to grab some nuts here. Uh, make sure you repop your proficiency booster. But we did clear out the front, and we talked about why did we clear out that front section. Well, uh, this is where you're going to see. We've got shock orbs back up. We've got all kinds of fun things that are back um, standing over here. So I like to start with the left with the shock orb. If you want to take out the links, you can. I have the quest for it, so I should. We'll take him out, grab the rawhide off of him, no big deal. Uh, and then we'll grab the shock orb. We'll come back across. It looks like the life bloom is up also, so we can grab that. Uh, and that's why I said you want to grab that one first. Then you come back up this way anyhow. Um, we'll grab this stuff, and then we're going to jump off the edge. And I'll show you a quick run of this one. That one is... Honestly, I might do it as a, a an ending part where I can say, hey, this is where you go, um, and this is what you do, uh, and then show you the way back up in here because this area does not have really anything. Um, it's not until after this that you have stuff to grab. So now we've cleared this out, we are going to go ahead and we have two options here. Either we can jump down here. If you're not looking for cooking and stuff, you don't need to jump down here, um, and you can jump to the end of the video. I will link right now. I'll put a little time code uh, down below in the comment. You'll see text. You'll also see time codes down below to jump if you want to just come right up here you're more than welcome and you can jump up there i'm going to jump down here clear this stuff out hit up this wolf cave because there's some good saltpeter and stuff in there hit this up hit this up make my way back up here and then the time code will pick up there so you just run up this road and follow it uh there's only a couple iron pieces right here just so you know but we'll meet you up on that road if you want to jump to that point in the video if you want to stick around we'll see you here in a minute of you who stuck around thank you so much for sticking around for this full full run um, this is the run i do i try to do it all as much as i can obviously uh, but it's not like the easiest run um, now i want to note you're going to be doing some parkouring off cliffs uh, just be aware that you can die um, this is a pretty high cliff um, i always forget the right way to do this and i think i might take the death this might be a death situation oh i didn't die Whew. i got super lucky there because i was able to clip the side there um, we're also going to get those wolves because I happen to get those. Remember on that quest when I picked up the board quest? You get some life bloom down here, which is nice. Uh, but what I really want to head up is the dog cave first, uh, the wolf cave. And then I'm going to come through the south part, run through here, grab the supply chests that are in here because there's actually, I think it's about 10 supply chests in here because our goal is to really build up on our, our stockpile of our stuff here, right? Um, and make sure we have everything we need because I'm such a high level I can just go around and wax in the wolves and I will get my quest done also If I can find that wolf. I knew there was one up here. There he is. So we'll take him out. I'm not gonna skin these guys I don't need rawhide that bad So we're just gonna take them out and we're gonna jump up here and get into this cave and inside the cave There is a saltpeter node um, Right in front of me. You can see that one uh, and sometimes there are a couple of other harvesting nodes, but it looks like someone picked them off. Um, you can see that you normally are up. Oh, there's one. Yep, there it is. You can see the gold node right there, which is a great one to grab. And that's why I do this little section is because if I'm doing this every day, I grab, you know, not every day. I mean, you can do it every day if you want to, if you've got the time to, uh, to guarantee it. I try to do it at least twice a week uh, just so I can keep my salt sand flux and stuff up. But we're going to go ahead and grab this gold vein uh, and then we're going to make our way over to these crates that start right uh, here. Uh, and then there's going to be, I'm sorry, here. Uh, then there's one here, here. Uh, and there's like four over here, one over here, two up here, and then we'll make our way over here, grabbing some hemp right about here that you can grab in first light. Uh, obviously, this is a gold vein, so this takes, you know, six years <laughs> to go ahead and grab. Uh, not a big deal or anything, uh, unless you have uh, 300 strength, and obviously you can, you know, reset, hit it, reset, hit it, reset, hit it. Uh, and then we're just going to go ahead and take this guy. Oh, I didn't grab the saltpeter. I thought I did. Maybe it respawned already. I thought I grabbed it, but we'll grab that saltpeter on the way. Uh, and then I don't see anything else. So we're just going to keep moving this way. I'm just going to let the wolf chase me. It's not going to keep up with me. Uh, there is a elemental node down here uh, on the ground. 
So we're going to jump off, roll, and it is uh, Earth Crag or Crag Stone. I think it's Crag, Blight Crag. That's what it is. I couldn't remember. I, I There's so many names out there. I forget what they're called all the time. Make sure you keep an eye on your proficiency booster, too. But we're going to come in here. This first building is going to have one. You're going to see it. These guys are level six. Uh, if you need first light rep, uh, this is not a place to grab it because you really don't get much. Uh, we're going to end up with this. But the second half of this is we didn't talk about is this is where you're going to find potatoes and carrots. And, and a lot of good vegetables uh, are going to be in here. I am... As I said, this is a full run. So I'm going to take this as a full run uh, and completely do it. And you're going to see on the thumbnail that, like, it, it's a good run. It's going to give you a lot of stuff. Uh, but we're going to clear all this stuff out because, as I said, we're trying to get resources for crafting. We're trying to make sure we have the right implements of things. Uh, and it's going to be a, a focus on cooking. But getting that sand flux is extremely important also. Uh, because, you know, sand flux is one of those resources that you're just always fighting with or sandpaper or all the other stuff that you have to end up getting because you're trying to level up, you know, your mining or you're trying to level up your engineering and you need the higher level metals and all that kind of fun stuff. So this is going to be one of our supply crates right here. You can see it. We're going to grab it. Um, one problem I am running into and I'm already starting to see it kind of building up uh, is weight but luckily this is all um some of this stuff is probably sellable for like you know four coin uh it's not worth the weight for what we're doing uh, i do carry about 300 weight i will drop these iron cartridges uh, if weight starts becoming further and further of an issue our next crate is going to be in this mill right here uh, and then the next one is actually in the middle of this field too oh, i forgot about this guy it stands right there um, we might have to cut back on our vegetables because I'm just running out of weight because I actually, shockingly, a lot of this node was wide open. Uh, I was really surprised at how much uh, wasn't being grabbed uh, for the time of day it is. But So now we're going to come over here, grab a bunch of these crates, but there's also one here. Uh, I think I'm going to grab this one first. Uh, it's right over here on the corner. We'll go ahead and take this guy out because it's right next to him. We're going to end up with a green, of course. Grab our supply crate, grab our little bit of sandpaper and weak solvent. Um, we can run through the middle here because there are a couple squashes in the middle. And we'll grab that. Here's a squash. Uh, there's all kinds of squashes in here. As I said, I'm running a little bit low on weight. Uh, that's probably going to be the biggest thing that you've got to keep an eye on. Uh, and that's why you kind of kind of think about what you want to do when you do it. Um, there are... This is where the uh, blight root is. Uh, you're going to have one on this side. I think there's one on the opposite side over on that corner. Or is it over here? It's on this corner. That's right. Uh, so we'll come out the back side on this one. There's going to be two crates in here, uh, as many of you know. And here's one of them. Uh, you're going to have the supply crate and then the opposite one on the other side. And then we're going to jump out the back. Or off the second floor, off that balcony, I'll show you. Uh, so we can grab that other one on there. Grab this big old stockpile because this will give us some nice goodies. There we go. Um, we got a plate helm and some other weird stuff, but we're just going to go ahead and tear that up really quick. Um, I am carrying a lot of light food on me too. I didn't even realize that. But we're going to jump out this door. Reason being is I'll show you right here. And this is where that other blight root is. You can grab it. So this is two of them. We have to hit the other side still because we haven't hit that one yet uh, for the other two. Said so this run is it's it's a longer run by far, but you're gonna grab everything you need. It's it's a really I don't want to say it's easy because it's not an easy run. Like it's a longer run. Um, as I said, you can take the shorter run if you're having weight issues. Not a big deal at all. Uh, I'm doing the long run because I want to show everyone it. If I run out of inventory space, then so be it. I will figure out what to do with that problem when the, it arises on the back half of this run. But we're just going to take this guy out, grab this crate up here, uh, and then we've got two more crates in this zone. I'm going to point out the vegetables. Uh, I don't think I'm going to pick them because uh, we are trying to get through the whole run here. Um, you're going to run due north because it's right up here in this building. Uh, is the next one. I'm not going to grab any more nuts because we don't need them. Um, there is the uh, blight root right here also that you can grab. Uh, there are vegetables in the area right here. Uh, over here is one of the crates. The other one's right here to our left or right. We're going to grab that one second. We're just going to roll through here, take out the scavenger, grab our next supply crate. Because for me right now, the supplies are more important. I'm not really pushing cooking too hard. 
But we're gonna sneak in past this guy. We might even, yeah, let's take him out really quick. It's not a big deal. And then we need to get up into here because there's another crate in there. And then we're gonna make our way to the next one um, and uh, get that done for ourselves so we can get it nice and ready for us and in here. Take out the reach, rector, reacher, wrecker, reacher, I don't know. English language is hard. Grab our sandpaper and our iron batter metal. Uh, and then we're gonna make our way right over to this town uh, over on the opposite side. First node going to be in there, just so you know. Uh, there is a lot of stuff on the way if you need it. You're gonna have boars if you need pork, uh, or swines, not boars. Uh, there are wolves up here if you need them for a quest. I do believe I killed all the wolves I need for my quest. I did, sweet. So we'll take that guy out on the way. He dropped something, whatever. Uh, and then there is hemp uh, all along this wall right here. If you want to grab it, I will kind of point it out. Uh, you should be able to see it here. Some of it right here in front of us. Um, so I'll just grab some of it. You can see some more of it way over there. Uh, some more hemp. But we're going to grab this hemp and then we're going to hit up those first supply crates. Uh, there is one provisions crate in here, which is kind of nice to have uh, as an option on here. Oops. My... Uh, proficiency booster uh, went away, so I want to reapply that for that extra 5% gathering. If you don't have proficiency boosters, that's fine. They're pretty easy to make, honestly, um, so I highly recommend you know making a group of them. Uh, but we're going to grab that first supply crate over here. Uh, I'm going to actually tear up this round shield really quick just to keep my weight down, uh, which is always the biggest thing. Now, the other thing we have to remember is we're also going to be having less of an issue with weight because we're not going to be running into nearly as much. Uh, fine to go down uh we're not gonna have as many iron nodes on this next part of the run it's not nearly as bad uh, as it is but we are definitely going to have a weight issue when it comes to vegetables if we keep grabbing because this place has all the veggies you could ever want um, it's fantastic like that so we're gonna go into the town we're gonna grab these back vegetables first there's the first ones in here there's also one in here um, so if you want to grab both that's fine we're gonna kind of go in here and grab the provisions crate out of that building first if I can walk in a door is that guy behind me it is let's knock him out um, as I said, it's right over here, and there it is. And then we're going to take out this guy. Grab that provision stockpile, which is nice. And then we're going to jump back over here, down this path. And the first building on our left and the second on our right are the ones that we need for what we want. I mistimed that. Grab this. Grab our supply crate. Scoot over here to the second one on our right. And there we go. So we're going to grab that one. There's our supply cache. Uh, I should have gone out the front door. I wasn't thinking for about five seconds. Um, so then we have a couple more crates left in this area. Uh, there's actually specifically, f there's actually six. Um, one, two of them are over here to our left. They're in the building over here. It's that split building that we have normally. Um, that we see so you run up here and there's some death root you can see this hemp out here uh, all the cabbage you could ever want like it's a great spot for for farming vegetables and stuff so we'll go ahead and grab the supply crate as i said we're running out of inventory space is really what we're going to be running out of here soon uh, but we're going to go ahead and make our way up top here we're not going to grab any more vegetables or anything but i will point them out we're gonna hit the supply stockpile tear them up and then hit the next ones so uh we'll tear up all this stuff actually we got 30 pounds eight pounds in there we should be able to save some space actually we might be able to grab some vegetables still and now we put about 25 pounds on for all those supply crates and we still have a big hunk of them to go <laughs> but even if you want to you could always stop early um on here i am going to grab these death or blight roots for the death moats uh, because i do need death moats in general and as I said, there's a second one on the opposite side. There's hemp over here also. Uh, we're going to go over here grab this rope. Um, there is a supply crate in this building. And then there is another one over here, here. And then there's here is another one. And then there's a third one in there. So uh, we can grab all of those really fast. Take out the guys that are in there. Oh, there's no guy in here. Sweet. We can grab this really quick and make our way uh, to the next one. Now we're going to kind of backtrack a little bit because we kind of ran past that. It'd be nice to take that guy out for that guy. Because um, it's one, 
two, up there's three, and then we're gonna come back over to that building for four. So we're gonna step in here, it's over here on the right. Take that guy out. I'm gonna get you two, aren't I? Grab the supply crate. So that's one. As I said, this is two right here, and then there's two more back here, and then we gotta run back up north. So we'll go over here, grab this one. Got the supply crate. And you can see how fast this, this inventory can fill up, if, especially if you don't have two bags that are larger. You're going to fill up really quick. So this bottom half is definitely going to be one of those situations where uh, if you don't have the bag space, don't don't go ahead and grab that stuff for yourself. Uh, I'm grabbing that for the repair kit simply. In here, we'll grab the supply chest. Um, there are more vegetables in that garden. There's vegetables back in that garden. Um, and then back here, you have to go in the building. And it's over here on the second floor. I think we can get away with not grabbing that scavenger, I hope. Find out if he comes running up on us. Yeah, he's coming running up on us. There he goes. So we're going to run out here and we need to head north now. Um, we're going to run past all this stuff uh, except for this corn. I always have an issue getting corn. Um, this is pretty much one of the few spots that you can find it pretty easily. But this is the corn right here. You can go ahead and grab that. My proficiency booster is still popped, so at least I get two corn. Uh, oh, we got more corn over here. Excellent. So and you can see there's the cabbage back there also. If you need game meat, this is a great spot too. You can kill all these bunnies. Uh, there's an excess amount of bunnies here. But I want to grab this corn because I do have um, some specific things I want to make with my corn and my cooking. But we're going to head north now. Uh, and we have to go up this hill and meet up where we said we were going to meet up before. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through me running through this. There are a couple iron nodes on the way up. Uh, I will not be getting them because, as I said, I'm running out of weight. And so more iron is going to be a problem for us. So I will see you guys at the top of the hill after a little fast forward and some tubes. All right, so welcome back, everybody. So these are those of you that skipped forward, and for those of you that went down to the farming uh, with me, welcome back. So we're going to be hitting some provision. There's one provisions crate and five supply crates in here. This is one of the easier ones to grab, too, uh, lower level, but here's that provisions crate. Uh, I do believe there's actually a tier three supply crate in here, uh, if I vaguely remember. I mean, it's up by this boss guy, just so you know, so you're just going to have to kill this boss really quick. If you're high enough level... Uh, which it should be because as i said i recommend this for 20. uh you should be getting a huge tier three supply stockpile this tier two on the far side uh, we got a round shield sweet i'm so glad that we hyped up that supply grade for ourselves uh just to get a high quality shield so we're gonna get a cash and then there's three out here uh, one of them is to the left one's to the right and one's over there i think we can snag this without making that other guy mad we're gonna come over here Grab this supply crate on the back side of this tent. Hopefully not making this guy mad. It's going to be close. We're all the way. Uh, and then the next one's going to be in this last tent right here. And then that's going to be the extent of these supply crates before we start heading back up to the Anchorage area. So uh, with that being said, though, there are a couple nodes that you can hit up on the way. Uh, the choice is yours of how you want to get down to the Anchorage area. Uh, you have a multitude of options. I am going to jump across here because right here there are some iron nodes and there's a couple iron nodes up here. So I grab those iron nodes and then I kind of jump down right here and I try to make my way through here and so I can start with my first supply crate roughly about there. So we're going to go ahead and fast forward through all that by the way um, and so you guys can see me kind of just running around um, and looking like a crazy person. Uh, I am going to grab this turquoise thing but yeah we'll see you guys back here once we get to the anchorage. And for those of you who are wondering, hey, Lemur, you said you weren't going to grab me more mining. I thought about it for a second. I'm like, you know what? Worst case, I have to throw some stuff down. I can still get the mining level out of it. You know, let's we'll see what happens. I'd rather hit overweight and throw stuff out rather than waiting for the other one. Um, there is a iron node back here. You're going to see it because I am going to go grab it right now. Um, but it's going to definitely put some weight on us here. 
um, especially since we are only a couple steps through the run here um, and all that kind of fun stuff. But since it is an hour run, I meant to mention this, if you have your recall where you're doing all your crafting stuff, you can literally just recall right to your place. So as long as you don't put yourself into encumbrance, you can just recall directly where do you need to go uh, and get there very fast. So we are getting close to the anchorage point. Um, and that's where we need to grab all that information. Uh, there is a iron node right here also, um, but it kind of attaches to this silver node directly in front of us. So you just run across here, grab whatever silver node exists right here. Um, I like silver because I am doing jewel crafting. Uh, so I like to try to make sure I do that. Uh, I am under hundred pounds left to go on this run. Um, and I do have two tier two bags. Here it goes, we want more iron. We're definitely gonna have to do some Inventory grabbing here um, and dumping on this information, but the first note is going to be up in this tower directly in front of us that we're going to grab. Uh, it is, it's an adventure going through this next part. Uh, it reminds me of the other node, but there is so many places to grab in here to get your sand flux, get all that information and you get the full iron veins and all that stuff. As I said, it's a little bit abnormal that I have access to this amount of gear. Uh, if you jump this right, you can jump right up here. Go up top, there's one guy up top. I know it's a little shooty out of the shield, so if you're quick enough with it, he can't do anything, he just falls over. Grab your provisions crate. Um, and our next one's actually down right where that level 26 is, and he's gonna take that stuff out for us, which is awesome. So because he helps out, we're gonna go ahead and give him a little heal so he can enjoy that while we grab this provisions crate. Uh, next is we're gonna go, so you have two options here, right? Um, you have a couple places where you need to go in and do it. One is, is there is a crate uh, directly right here on front of us, and there's a bunch of crates on the boat. We want to hit those, so we're going to grab this one underneath. Um, there's also river crest down underneath, too, just as a note. If you want to grab those, um, I do plan on grabbing them because, as I said, I will be needing those. Uh, I won't be shocked if I end up dumping the pound of ammo that I have. Um, the river crests are right here. You can see them. There's also an alligator if you need that for a mission for some reason. Uh, that alligator is down here. So if you happen to collect an alligator, you can grab that. But I'm down here for the river crests. Since there is only one way up on the boat, and that is going through the top plank part. Um, and hopefully that guy clears some of the section out for us. It makes life a little bit easier. But there we go. We got some water moats, some river crests. Well, this guy clear some stuff up. We will be entering this cave um, after the boat. I will explain that run here in a minute. Uh, but you're going to go over here. You can jump right over the top of this um, and grab this next supply crate. That's right here. Uh, grab that solvent, grab all the good stuff, jump up here on this, and you can jump over normally. There we go. Uh, and then the next node is going to be uh, right over here in this box, which he cleared out for us. And then we got to get to the boat is going to be our next run here. Um, ooh, we got steel bow charm. Nice. So I don't think this guy knows that this is over here, uh, but we're going to go ahead and clear this for him. If he's coming this way, I don't know if he is or not. I got shot a little bit because I'm terrible. Uh, so you have to go below and above the boat, right? Um, one of which is going to be in the captain's chest up here. You can grab that one first if you want to, or you can go underneath and grab those. Whatever your, your heart's content is, uh, you can grab them. So we're going to go ahead and run over here. There's the two chests that we have. We got to have this berserker really fast. It shouldn't be anything too hard we've got two supply crates here that one's a little busted so we'll let this one go and then we can try the other one again because it normally fixes itself get to the right level so you sometimes have to come on the far side of them grab our cross weave grab our green um, there is nothing else down below here so you can literally walk back up the same way you came we're going to turn around and as I said, we need to get on the second floor because it's in the captain's chest. So you're going to kill one guy here. Just try to take him out before he puts a shield up. And I did not because I'm terrible. Stay to the left if you're high enough level. And then we just got to take out this big guy. No, I don't. I, I want to go in your door. Oh, great. No, this is going to be a party now. We're gonna, it's going to take a minute longer because we're making stuff mad everywhere. Here we go. We can go in his door now. Drop some of that stuff. Take out this guy really quick. Hopefully he's going to throw his axe. I'm going to take it in the face. Knock him down. Grab that. And we get a supply stockpile. So this is where we're going to end up running underneath. 
the building. Wow, we didn't get anything from that. We just got extra weight that we are going to tear up really fast. Um, so we're at about 40 pounds left to run. Uh, basically, what we need to do is we need to go back through here. Uh, we're going to take this guy out, but we're going to jump right off afterwards because, as I said, we're going to go underneath. This is where you can take out that alligator if you so choose. I'm actually going to not take out the alligator, so I'm going to go off the left side because uh, I don't care about the alligator. Um, we have a weight issue. There's going to be one guy here, and then there's going to be two crates underneath this run down here. Then we're going to go up top, do some spiraling, uh, and really continue on that. As I said, this is a longer run, um, but once you see, as you saw earlier in the video, uh, lots of good stuff that you're going to end up with, uh, potions and all kinds of other things. I'm going to take out Mr. Electrified Boy here again. Dodge roll that. It's almost like I know what I'm doing sometimes, you know. If I can actually hit him, though, that's part of the fun. So he goes down. You come over here. You grab the supply stockpile. Pushes your weight up. Another 20 pounds because we got a freaking musket and a bunch of other random stuff that we don't need. So we'll dump that stuff. Um, there is another crate right by this person right here. And it's your provisions crate that we were talking about. And then we're going to go up top uh, and run around briefly. Now, this is where it's going to get a little fun. Uh, because I am probably going to end up walking into the wrong building at least once uh, because it's like four different buildings and they're super stacked up in a weird way and I always run into the wrong buildings. So what I'll do is I'll try to check them um, by running by them, but there's only a couple up here. It's nothing too crazy, right? Uh, one of which uh, is down below right here. And we're, I remember where some of them are, as I said. Like it's 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 kind of a, you got to remember where they are Um and they're not really in the buildings, actually, I wouldn't say. I think there's, if I remember rightly, there's one in the building. i got to remember. Because um, there is not one in this building like you would think there would be. Or is there? Pretty sure there isn't. Yeah, there isn't one in... Oh, wait. Nope, I lied to myself. There is one. I see. I'm not... Told you there's about one in the building. <laughs> and I always forget about it. Uh... And so we'll grab that silk sword. We've got 230. Uh, we're going to run over here. Now, you need to go down um, and over here. And there's going to be one guy here that you want to take out. And there is another crate over here. Then we're going to head up um, after we tear up the sword. And then we're going to take a right, head up here, take another right, take a left. Hey, got this guy. Um, for those of you who are wondering, there really isn't any crates over here. There is one in this big building. Um, I, it's way too much stuff between it. Normally by now I'm kind of capping out and I want to make sure I get some broccoli um, that I want to grab. So I'm going to go ahead and take this guy out. No crate in there. There is one crate in there. We will grab it. If you jump right, there you go. You can grab the side of this up here. Once again, shield guy, one crate. Going to take him out really fast or completely miss and look special. Uh, we'll grab the provisions crate and then we're gonna dodge roll right off the side. If you wanna go through here, you're more than welcome. I will show you where it is. Uh, just as a note, you can normally dodge this guy, but he'll probably pull when I pull the boss. That is up top. Uh, I apologize on the boss, but the pistol here. I don't think it did. Then you can grab the supply crate and then jump out. Um, and then basically you are on the optional end of the run. So this is where you're going to backtrack here. You could go right to the shrine if you needed to. Uh, if you have your recall up, you can just go ahead and recall. Uh, basically what we're going to do is we are actually going to go hit up Campbell's Rest because that is where I like to cap out my inventory for the last little bit because uh, you get almost unlimited broccoli. Almost unlimited broccoli. This guy shoots me in the back and he wants to say, hey, hey, I want a piece of that. You can murder some turkeys if you want to um, on the way. Uh, but I like to grab this last little bit. I should probably just grab this a little quick. Uh, we will grab more territory standing in case I want to buy a home here ever. I don't think I'm going to. I'll probably end up in Cutlass if I do uh, for my second home. Because uh, my first is going to be an Everfall. So we're going to run up here really quick. Um, there's not really any nodes up here uh, for iron. There can be a drop or two on the right side uh, for iron nodes all along this section right here. There's nice iron nodes, but we're coming up here for these supply crates, right? So we're going to go ahead. Um, the first one's right here. Um, we're not going to pay attention. We're doing because we're in our map. <laughs> Rather than doing that stuff, we're going to grab the supply crate. 
Um, and then the next one's right over here. Buy some death root. You've got squash out the ears, as I said. Uh, this is where you're going to get a bunch of vegetable twos. And that's why I said I like to cap out right here because you kind of want to be done with the run at this point. This is where it's kind of reaching out. If you happen to have a chance where you still have some weight left, you can continue um, after the supply crate run up north and grab some other stuff in Elder's Gate or something like that. It depends on where you want to go. Um, and you're going to find all that information wherever you need it to be. You're going to find carrots over here. There's squash in here. i got to remember where I'm at for a second. I apologize. Um, I need to go over here. Um, I'm not going to grab the squash. As I said, I want to hit up this life bloom. Hit this crate back here. we got a death moat in front of us, too. This guy's looking, looking probably for the same stuff that we are. He's trying to hit those supply crates. Um, we'll see if he types this death moat. If not, I will just go ahead and grab it. I am running out of weight, though, if you see that. I'm about 10 pounds from full. We'll see where that gets us here. Uh, we're going to come in this building. There should be one underneath right there. We could probably sneak it without getting this guy, maybe. Nope, we're going to get him. Uh, and then there's a second supply crate up in the front of the building. And then we got to come over here. There's one in the middle of the road, and then there's one in a building. It is not this building right here like you would think it would be. It's actually this little guy right here, and the one in the middle of the road is right over here. So we'll take this guy out, hit the supply crate really quick, hit the middle of the road. Uh, there is another supply crate back here if you want to make the run for it. As I said, I'm running out of inventory space, so I'm just going to hit up this one really fast. Hopefully it doesn't over tap me. Where are we at? I got ammo. Oh, man, I'm running real low. So what I'm going to do is actually show you a couple more things before I grab. Uh, that's gonna. We knew that was going to overweight me. Um, so what we do know right now is where is the broccoli for everyone that's asking where it is. So uh, our last crate is in here. I apologize. Uh, let me get that right. Nope, it's right over here. I apologize. It was over here. Our last crate's right here next to this cart. I totally missed it. There it is. So this is our last supply crate. Um, I do believe it's going to cap me probably way overweight. So I'm probably going to have to do some, yep, what's uh, where your broccoli is. So we're going to come over here. I can't use any abilities right now, but I can take these guys out pretty easily. I can hit them. But this is where your broccoli's at. you got a whole farm of broccoli if you want it right here. Uh, not a big deal. Uh, but basically, I can go ahead and drop some of this stuff. So probably what I'll end up doing is just dropping some of this fish weight even though it's worth it to have it. I've got so much of it at this point. I just, I don't need it. So I'll leave it on the ground and I can pick up broccoli to max out my weight now. Uh, and that is the full run. All right, so um, basically that's what you're know thinking. So overall, we had a lot of extra food on us that we probably didn't need. We got some potions, got some jewels. We got about 200 pounds worth of stuff. So 250 sand flux, 450 paper. Now, sometimes you can get more sand flux, less. Uh, we've got tannin. We've got weak solvent. Uh, we've got cross weave. We've got everything you could possibly imagine. Almost 1,000 iron ore, 400 silver ingots, 100 gold. We've got some void metal. we got a little bit of raw hide, some fibers. And that was with me passing stuff up. You can see we got all kinds of alchemy, death moats. We got life moats. We got water moats. We got a little bit of saltpeter because we took the longer run. Some furniture, a bunch of crafting mods, 50 pounds of food, specifically 42 onions, 38 cauliflower, 20 uh, broccoli, 13 melons, 19 potatoes. As you get it, lots and lots of stuff, tomatoes, oranges, all the weird stuff that you need to get for all these professions. You got it on this run. It takes about an hour. You can do it every once in a while. It's completely up to you. Um, I hope this video helps. As I said, it was a longer video, but I want to show you the full run of what you could do and what you can't do. Um, and I truly hope you guys have enjoyed the run and everything about it. So thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell for notifications. If you have anything to add, you feel like the run's too long, or if you feel like you know a better spot, make sure you leave it down in the comments down below. But as always, I hope you have a fantastic day, and we see you on the next episode of Lemur's Corner.